Hi, I'm Joel Kaplan, and uh, I'm presently a professor of anesthesiology in the department at the University of California in San Diego. This is the sixth edition of Cardiac Anesthesia, and uh, uh, the feature of this edition uh, parallels the changes that are going on in anesthesia for cardiac surgery. Uh, we've moved towards, in the operating room, monitoring all the patients with transesophageal echocardiography. And the focus of this book is really uh, to emphasize the role of echocardiography in the management of the cardiac patient uh, during cardiac surgery. Uh, so every chapter has uh, elements in it related to echocardiography. Uh, this is the first edition of the book that's been printed in full color uh, with just beautiful photography and uh, uh, it's also the first edition that's been online with the uh, videos so uh, this has become a major focus of the book. You can read about coronary artery surgery, you could then look at the pictures, the echocardiograms during surgery and then you can go online and actually see the videos and uh, putting this all together uh, becomes uh, a very unique teaching environment. Uh, the other day I was in the operating room with a resident and a medical student and we were doing an off-pump coronary bypass operation uh, and the medical student asked a question or two and I referred him to the small version of the book, the essentials book, uh, and then the resident said, well there's much more information in the new big book. So he pulled out the big book and we looked at some of the color pictures and the resident was talking all about the echo and the changes in wall motion that were going on during this case and the student was having a little trouble visualizing this so we have the computerized record keeper right in the operating room with the computer and we went to the website and pulled up the echoes and went through a problem case that's on the echoes and the medical student immediately could see the wall motion changes so it really dramatized the change from just a black and white book to the color book that the sixth edition now is uh, to the video and how we can use that. And the other thing we've really added to this edition is uh, that we're going to keep upgrading the book. One of the problems with books in my experience is they go out of date very quickly and everybody talks about that. Uh, but now that I edit the journal and in the journal every two months we're bringing out new cases, new echo material, uh, the latest in cardiac anesthesia, we're now going to use summaries and pieces of that and use it as updates of the book. So as you go online, you're going to be able to keep up. And over the course of the next five years, the book will be a living book with uh, additional material added all along. And then that will be incorporated into the next edition as we go forward. So that's really an advance, uh, quite an exciting advance from what we had previously. There's one other point that I think is worth mentioning with the new book, and that's, again, to emphasize how it ties in with the other educational uh, materials that I've put together in this field. Uh, because somebody who's going to practice anesthesia for cardiac surgery really has to be familiar with all levels of the material. And we have different people on the anesthesia care team. Uh, we might have nurse anesthetists working with us or physician's assistants. We have residents. Then we have the advanced fellows and finally the practitioners. So what we've done is we've taken the clinical material and put it in the smaller book called The Essentials of Cardiac Anesthesia. So that if you do this only occasionally or, or as a junior member of the team, the Essentials book might have enough for you for the first couple of months of what you're doing. As you get more experience or you become a resident or a fellow or if you do this more often in private practice, you're going to want the big new sixth edition with uh, all the information in there. And then to keep up, there's the Journal of Cardiothoracic and Vascular Anesthesia that I've been editing now for 25 years. And this comes out every two months and continues to give us the latest and newest information, particularly on the new drugs and the new monitors. So having what I call this threesome uh, of the basic book, the more advanced book, and the journal uh, gives the practitioner an opportunity to use the full um, depth of this material to continue to learn and to continue to use it to teach his colleagues.